<laughs> What's up, my friends? All right, so another week. Uh, it's actually pretty nice here in Michigan. Uh, we've had ups and downs where it's like zero degrees. Um, today, it's more like in the 30s. All the snow's melted, which is nice. Uh, but above that, let's just let's start the week off strong. Today, we're going to be talking about something I got last week and I have been using nonstop. It's the Coors Air K63. Okay, so many of you guys know I love wireless devices. I purchased a few keyboards. Uh, I've used a mechanical keyboard, the Red Dragon, which is the budget-friendly one. I've also had the Coors Air K55, which I've been using here for the last, i say, six months. So anyways, CES 2018, a lot of YouTubers went out there and a lot of them uncovered something that really fascinated me and that was a Corsair K63. This is the wireless gaming keyboard. Okay, so about this keyboard, I'm gonna give you some key features. It has the Cherry MX switches. You can use the included USB dongle that gives you 2.4 wireless signal. Or you can use the reported ultra low latency Bluetooth and I believe that's 4.0 or higher. It has dedicated value and multimedia controls. 100% anti-ghosting with full key rollover. It's supposed to have strong 128-bit AES encryption. The one I got is it has the blue LED backlight and the, the Corsair utility app that you can download on your computer and use. It has really cool effects. It has like ripple effect, visor, it has a per keystroke ripple, which I think is really, really cool. It has like a matrix kind of a codex, which I love. Now, I love the compact size on this. The size on this, sells me right away because I like to have my workspace just nice and neat. That's one little thing I love about it being wireless, but also compact. I like to save much room as possible for other things. And this right here takes the K for it because uh, the, with the K55, it does come with a newer keypad, so it's a little larger, uh, but I, I just love the way, it's very sturdy too, and I love the way that this is built. It's really nice because I love the mechanical switch sounds. But there's also a nice feature to where I, well, I mean, I'm not sure if it's a feature, but it's something I came across and I like. And it's the fact that you don't have to press all the way down for it, to, you know, for it to respond. So you can go really softly and you hear nothing. And it's nice that I can just slightly touch down in the key stroke and then I, you don't hear anything, but it still responds really nicely. And uh, I, it's, I don't know, it's just those little, t <laughs> it's those little things that just keep me going, right? I just, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a child, come on. So again, Corsair designed this uh, to be completely wireless and they also revealed the gaming lap board for this, which if I did a review not too long ago, I think it was last year, of the Razer Torrent, which is designed uh, to use a keyboard and mouse at your living room. And uh, I found it convenient, especially if you have a PC hooked up to your TV and you wanna play this on the couch, or if you have a long HDMI cord, that takes you to your TV that's close by your computer station, whatever, regardless, regardless of whatever it is, and you wanna do some PC gaming on your couch, um, they have a lap board for it as well. Now, I am gonna get my hands on that as well so that I can compare that to my torrent, but I don't play too much PC games on my couch to justify having the entire piece, but I might still try it out anyways. So Corsair designed this to have 14 hour battery life, uh, if you have the LEDs on. Now, if you have the LEDs off, it's 75 hours. Now me, I actually found that it did last just shy of 14 hours, but it did last. I haven't tried the 75 hour mark yet, but I'm interested to see if it does. I just like to have my LEDs on. That's why I haven't really prolonged all the way over 75 hours. So, but it's good to know that if I need to have that pure charge without hooking it up to anything, it's there. Now it does have a micro USB charger to it. I have tons of these, but you can also use this as a corded keyboard if the battery runs out as well. So you don't have to worry about waiting for it to charge before you use it again. That's another convenient thing too. So my overall experience, okay. I gotta say this, I freaking love it. Absolutely, I love the keystrokes on it, I love the way it sounds, I love the fact that when someone's sleeping or I don't wanna wake up anybody, I don't wanna bother anybody, I can still slightly hit that keyboard and it still responds without hearing anything. Why do I keep referring to that? I don't know, but I love it. I love that you can hook it up still in the USB and have it as corded and the battery dies. And I just freaking love that, it is wireless. I love the lighting effects. Now this is one of those things that, yes, it's not RGB, but I prefer blue LED anyways. And I just love the lighting effect that comes with it. One of the quirks that I did find, however, is using the 2.4 USB dongle. Uh, when my computer went to sleep, sometimes my keyboard wouldn't wake up. I had to pull the dongle out and put it back in for it to, to rec be recognized again. Um, that happened about three or four times. Didn't happen every time, but it did happen. But it didn't happen like that with Bluetooth. So, so cost, this thing is $110. Uh, I would say for the price of it, I mean, Corsair is a, for me is, an, is a really good high quality brand. Uh, I 
I love the keyboard. I would pay that amount. I would recommend it to somebody who's looking for a wireless gaming keyboard. You would, you would not be disappointed. If you have tons of keyboard, you will feel like this will replace it. If you are a fan of the, the, the keypad on the, on the side, uh, of course, you, you, may not want to, you may want to steer away from this. So if you get the lap board, it's really geared towards the PC gamers that game on the couch. But I see way more pros and cons on this. And for $110, I would say that yes. I mean, I, I, I feel that it's, it's worth an investment if you really want a wireless gaming keyboard with Cherry MX switches. It's, it's just that, that, that plain and easy. I would recommend it. I'm, on th I'm think, think about this. I'm this enthusiastic about a keyboard. I just, I love it. I just, it's just something that you use all the time. So why not be enthusiastic about it? Between a keyboard, your mouse, and your monitor, you should be very excited about the things that you use on a daily basis with your PC. Now, in terms of sounds and uh, the, with the switches, I do want to compare this with the K55 and the Red Dragon. Okay, so I am going to give you a quick sound test of the Corsair K63 wireless and what it sounds like. I'm going to try to get as close to my mic as possible and to compare it to this K55 as well as the Red Dragon, the K63. And I was talking about like when you can slightly touch it so you don't hear anything, watch. That's really good. All right, the K55. Tough, I try to do it really softly. Now this is the Red Dragon with the red LEDs. Uh, this was a good favorite of mine until I realized it was just too freaking loud. You ever try to game live with PUBG or something and you're streaming it and you're using a keyboard like this? But it sounds so awesome. Something about this is it's like therapy for me. So yeah, I love the way this sounds. It's just too, it's so, so freaking loud. Uh, but this is still a very, this is a budget friendly keyboard right here. I got this for $37 online. I'll leave a link to this below if you want something like this. So again, my overall thoughts about the wireless K63 gaming keyboard from Corsair is I would say buy it if you have the funds for it. Uh, replace the keyboard you have now, unless of course you have something that you absolutely just love. Wireless isn't that important to you. There it is. But for me, wireless, I just love no cords and the fact that I can just take it with me if I wanted to on the go um, and not worry about cords. I just, I just like a clean desk. And for me, that's my selling point for it. Um, and that's how I justify my costs. <laughs> but anyways, um, I hope this video was somewhat informative and helpful for anybody looking to see what the heck is this Corsair K63 wireless keyboard all about. Um, I hope I gave you some good information if I didn't answer anything that you had a question on, please leave those comments and questions down below. I promise I'll get to them. Uh, but besides that, my friends, uh, make sure you, you hit a like if you did like this video. And I will catch you, of course, on the road because I'm actually going to go to California this week. So I guess I'll be throwing up a vlog next week um, unless I do something in between. So, all right, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. It just sounds so nice. Can I, can I do both? All right, let me see if I can do both. So